Let's pray. Our God and our Father, again, we thank you and we praise you for this beautiful day. We ask now that you be with us. We pray that uh, you would help us to be ever mindful of your presence. Bless this celebration. And we thank you for our city. We thank you for our elected officials, both county, city and county. We ask now that you bless our men and women who are serving in our military, that you continue to be with them and their families. And we thank you for this great city of Clarksville. Continue to be with us. God bless America. We thank you and praise you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. Let this be a, a, a momentous occasion, a great celebration, Lord, that we can bring glory and honor to you. We love you and we thank you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. Again, we thank you and praise you for this day, for it's in Jesus' name that we do pray and ask these blessings. Amen. We do. We have some special guests that maybe some of you aren't aware of. Well, I know at least 600 plus of you are aware of because you went online and voted to have Clarksville recognized as the most patriotic city in the United States. We blew away everyone else with the votes. Every other city did not even come close. And I know that's because you feel it in your hearts. So the top vote getters, well, they have a team that goes around to actually see if you have put your money where your mouth is. And that's why we want to make extremely welcome the Rand McNally team who's visiting Clarksville today and tomorrow to see just how patriotic we are. Because we already know that Clarksville is the most patriotic city in the United States. Don't we? We know that. But we have to convince two very special guests of that fact. Uh, please welcome to the stage the Captain and Clark. How are you guys doing? We're living the dream right now. Thank you. You've had a fun day today, haven't you? Yes, we have. And, you're, and you just, uh, you get another fun day tomorrow. Two full days of Clarksville hospitality, which, as all of you know, is the finest hospitality in the country, right? You're not even lying. The days have been jam-packed. I mean, we started at 9 and we're still going. Like, they barely give us time to eat. <laughs> but the food you've been eating is pretty good, right? You've been sampling some of our local uh, cuisine. You know, I'm surprised you guys didn't put in for best food. Like, it's incredible. Well, it's nice to have you here again. Captain and Clark, let's hear it for them. You guys, you have something you'd like to say. Here, I'll pass the mic off to you, Captain. Well, first off, Clarksville, thank you for having us here. You guys absolutely do not need us here to remind you of the fact that you are one of the most patriotic towns in the USA. And we haven't even been here 24 hours, but it's already obvious that it's not just your military service. Those of you out there on the front line who are bleeding, who are giving everything to secure this nation, but it's also those of you who remain here and suffer sometimes invisible wounds of loss and waiting. Your community and your time and everybody here has shown incredible support, blowing up our Facebook wall, everything that everybody says. You guys are incredible. Give yourself a double round of applause. Thank you for your hospitality, and thank you all for your patriotism and making this country the great country it is. We have a special gift for Governor McMillan, if you could come up here. This is a certificate. Give a round of applause. Yeah. You started as mayor. We're promoting you to governor. Oh, mayor, governor. No, you get everything. Okay, we have a certificate from Best of the Road, and it is to show you that you did qualify as one of the top five towns in USA to be the most patriotic. So, this is huge! And for Chris and I, this is our first time celebrating the 4th of July in the USA in over two years. So we really, really want to see what you guys have to offer. So thank you so much, Clarksville, for having us. Coming up, 
we're going to bring them our right, and we're going to celebrate Clarksville being the most patriotic city in this nation, y'all. So we're going to show them how we do it here, y'all. Every time I move, I lose when I look, I'm in. Every time I turn around, back and look.
Wow. You've done this for it. Good job. 22-8, all right, y'all just stand in just the fence for me. Next two, come on up, get your seat ready. Yeah, he's first, of course. A little closer to the line. I'll take the fourth. All righty. Fire one ready, open. Get that foot behind the line. There you go, fire one ready. Over there, there you go, Kevin. That's in one. I didn't even see what happened. I think that went out of the field of play. No, that's not it. Get you another shot, man. We got to see where it lands. Did anybody see where his seats are going? There. <laughs> that's out of the field of play. One more. Last try. Got to get it in on this one. There you go. We saw that one. There you go. Good job, man. Ready for your second shot? Fire one ready. Right there, Kevin. Right in front of the line. There you go. Yep, that's it. Got you another big man? Alright, fire one ready. Ladies out there, they came up. Right in there, son. First place goes to Jesse Schroeder. Step forward, Jesse, with first place. There you go, big guy. All right, we've got a we've got a spinoff for second place between Amanda Schroeder and Donald Smith. Amanda Schroeder and Donald Smith, step back up to the line for me. One seat, guys, just one. Yeah, man, you go first. See that? Right by that young lady's foot, Kevin, where it went. Oh, you found the range on that one. I think you just took the knife and let's shoot beat you down there. Go ahead and try. Got to give it a fire. I'm not even going to measure his last one unless she beats it. Oh! <laughs> young lady, you were just one. You beat your husband, even though he did get first place in the first go-around. All right, guys, come on, let me get your prizes for you. 